This is a presentation of the RACI matrix. The RACI matrix describes the participation of the various roles in completing tasks or deliverables for a project. It's a tool that clarifies roles and responsibilities. It comes from the acronym of responsible, as the person working for an activity, accountable, the person with the decision authority, Consult, a key stakeholder who should be included in the decision or work activity, and inform, the person or people who needs to know of a decision or action. The first role responsible is the person who will complete the task or activity. He or she is responsible for any action or implementation, and only one person is ultimately responsible for that task or activity. The next role, accountable, is the person with authority and veto power. This is the person who will sign or accept that an activity has been completed following quality requirements, and only one person can be assigned as accountable for an activity or a task. Consult. The consult role is typically assigned to subject matter experts that can be consulted prior to a final decision or action. This is a two-way communication in which input from the consult role is required. Finally, inform. It's the individuals who need information to be or need to be informed after a decision or action is taken. They may be required to take action as a result of the outcome. However, this is mostly a one-way communication. Once we complete an action, the person for responsible for that action then needs to inform a group of people because they might use that information to start their own activities. Let's look at our metrics. We use our descriptions and information from our WBS where we list all our activities in this column and then we add columns for each one of the roles that we have in the team and we place the names of the person. We have the project manager, we have any technical people, we have administrative, everybody who's involved in activities in the project. And then for each activity we identify the person who is going to be responsible, the person who's going to be accountable, anybody who needs to be consulted and anybody who needs to be informed. Not everybody needs to be presented in as a role in that activity. There may be cases where you don't need that person for that activity, and that is okay. Once you complete that risk race matrix, you will see something like that, where every activity will have their list of roles and the people are assigned to the specific roles. And make sure that you don't have these type of mistakes where one person is assigned both roles of, as accountable and responsible. Uh, and you also don't have two people with the role of accountability for the same activity or two people sharing the role of responsibility. This matrix is also helpful for the team as it helps them understand and helps identify the owners for each one of those activities so that people are very clear about who is responsible and they are able to report on the progress of that activities to the project manager. Thank you for your attention.